Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to talk to you about MQTT and why you need it in your solutions for the Internet of Things. After a comparison with HTTP, I will go through what MQTT is and what benefits it brings. With the Internet surviving for such a long time using the HTTP protocol, you might ask yourself why you would ever need another protocol. Well, HTTP is great for doing a request and getting a response, like when a client wants to ask a server for some information and get an answer back. But it doesn't really have a good solution when a source of information should push a change to many clients. And there is no built-in support for quality of service. The text-based format of HTTP requires more bandwidth and any device that wants to act as a host needs to have a web server installed. Keeping a web server alive to answer incoming requests takes a lot of battery power, which is a scarce resource on anything. So let me introduce the Message Queuing Telemetry Transport Protocol or MQTT. It's a protocol that can be solved many of these problems. First of all, it uses a publish and subscribe messaging pattern, which means that any source of information, such as a sensor, can publish its data and then any client can subscribe to that data. All this is happening in a broker that keeps track of all publications and subscriptions. So when a publisher sends an update with new data, he publishes a message, the broker takes care of sending the new data to all subscribers. The built-in support for quality of service means that the broker can guarantee delivery of a message. For example, that it's delivered at least one time or exactly once. MQTT is a binary format that requires a minimum of bandwidth. The fixed header is actually only two bytes. And it also has a small implementation footprint that requires less battery. Both of these efficient aspects can make MQTT scale very well. And that is important when we are talking about millions of things. MQTT is not as established as HTTP, but it's standardized by OASIS and it's backed up by IBM. To see how it works, let's set up an MQTT broker and I have selected Mosquito, which is the most famous open source MQTT broker. I will set it up on a cloud server with Ubuntu and to get one of your own, please see my video Omnichannel Services Cloud Server. Start by connecting to the server and you can see the SSH command here and you need to replace with your own key file and also the IP address of your server. And to install and run Mosquito use the following five commands you can see here. And when you have done that open a new terminal window connect to the server again using the SSH command above and then you enter the command mosquito sub. This will start a subscription to the topic hello world. And then you open yet another terminal window, connect to the server again using the SSH command and enter the mosquito pub command. This will publish your first message to the topic hello world and it should appear in the previous terminal window that you open above. So there you have your Mosquito MQTT broker running. And with that, I hope you understand what MQTT is and how you need it to build scalable solutions for the Internet of Things. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.